The people who offer spa and wellness are not maximizing their offerings from a digital marketing perspective. This can include social media, retail sales within the spa, and even how senior management is communicating with their audience. It's not my area of expertise, but I know how important it is. That's why I asked Norm Bond and Associates to merge with Moontie Consulting. I wanted to offer my clients the best of both worlds. I'll let Norm explain further. So when you come to a, a small business or a chain like the spa in industry where their primary focus is not marketing. It's providing great service to their client. It's about can people feel good and, and improving their health. So the marketing piece has taken them by surprise because many of them are still doing the same tactics, uh, you know, as in 1999. They have not had to use some of the things that we're using here, the, the video. Um, they're used to people coming to them. And so this is a- affecting the, ho- the hotel the spa industry um, in particular. And, and the last thing I mentioned real quick is because I think this industry is less prone to use technology than, say, retail or the financial services sector. You know, many in the spa, because it's more of a people business, are not as likely to jump on technology. And that's really what's driving digital marketing, as I mentioned earlier, is electronic. So those things will impact um, spas in particular and hotels. And unless they really focus on it, they will continue to fall behind. Most spa and beauty people are not techno weenies. We're not. We're not tech heads. That's just a fact. So this means that there's a gap in knowledge within the business. I mean, I realized that Moon Tide Consulting had a gap. I discovered that after working with so many millennials. And, you know, many five-star hotel and spa properties have gaps, too. Even if their company is large enough to have a dedicated IT department, they may not be totally in touch with what today's customers wants and needs. 